In Jerusalem, preventive measures against the spread of the coronavirus are loosening. The number of infected people is decreasing daily and more and more activities can reopen. The city comes back to life. But the alleys of the Christian quarter of the Old Town, usually the crossroads of thousands of pilgrims, are still empty. Everything is still standing still. And it's frightening, I mean, to walk in the street and you get a feeling of fear even to walk in the streets because you're all alone in this, all alone and you feel this loneliness, yeah? And as if like the entire world has disappeared around you and you are in, like, uh, you are enclosed in a bubble that is taking you to nowhere. For George, an Armenian from the old town who has been a craftsman for 38 years, this is the first time he has found himself closing the doors of his pottery workshop for more than 50 days. He hardly recognizes his city. We, we had a preview in Jerusalem of this during the Intifada in 19, uh, um, around, uh, I think it was 1988. So we were used to see empty streets in the old city, but not as empty. People were going around. There were not much tourists, but once you get out of the old city, life is normal. But to see the whole city old and new everywhere, to see it totally like a ghost town, this is probably one of the most challenging uh, uh, times that I have ever lived. Opening the shop today is simply a way to go out and look normal, even if nothing is normal anymore. George tells us inside his shop. As economically, I mean, uh, uh, I'm not an exception. And uh, everybody has his uh, version of the difficulty and the hardship. For us, what we did, like I have three employees and I had to uh, send the employees uh, like an, on an unpaid leave. I cannot afford having my uh, workers come and work like seven, eight hours a day. I can have them maximum like four hours and few days in the week. Anyway, I can produce, but I'm not selling. So why should I keep on uh, uh, having more stock? With the suspension of mortgages for three months in addition to the rent until the end of the year, George, like the other small traders in the old town, hopes for a return as soon as possible to normality. We love to go back to those days and, uh, I mean, uh, what uh, it looks like a privilege to go back to what was normal. What was normal today, it's a privilege. <laughs>